This year marks the 100-year anniversary of Armenian cinema. It is certainly an occasion to celebrate and also perhaps the perfect occasion for the launch of the inaugural Armenian Film Festival. Now, if you think about it, it is often through film we are exposed to unique stories, and it is through those stories we're able to learn more about history, different cultures, and people. <laughs> Film is important because it exposes us to different cultures. It allows people to understand who we are as people. The Armenian Film Society was created to give Armenian films and filmmakers a space to showcase their work. Working in the film industry, I realized that we were all very disconnected. Our stories weren't being told and we wanted to have a space where we could bring everyone together. All of their programming and events are open to anyone who's interested in film. This labor of love has kept this husband and wife team creative and very busy. Since 2015, we've held about 100 events all around the world. We want to be able to attract non-Armenians because these are the stories that people will be able to understand Armenians through. Now they're launching a week-long festival to celebrate the great contributions filmmakers are making. Filmmakers like Emmy Award-winning actor Michael Gorgian, whose highly anticipated movie Amerikatsi kicks off the festival. Amerikatsi is a film about uh, a man who repatriates back to Armenia in 1948, and he finds himself unjustly imprisoned in Soviet Armenia. <laughs> Amerikatsi in English translates to the American. It's written, directed, and stars Gorgian as the main character, Charlie. Charlie's story is really about someone longing for their homeland, someone who is wants to connect with their roots, which I think many Americans can relate to. I find you good home. Really? Is this about the housing situation? Fellas, there's been a mistake. The entire film was shot in Armenia in 2020. It was a challenging time, to say the least. Just as they started filming, the pandemic hit. Michael spent seven months living, researching, and working there. I was working hard to learn Armenian, and uh, a friend said, hey, listen, you're directing a film in a foreign country that's in three languages during a pandemic. Okay. Maybe don't worry about <laughs> learning the language as well. You've got enough on your plate. <laughs> His goal was to tell a story about a topic that hasn't gotten much attention on the silver screen through a character many would find relatable and to entice a broad audience. I really wanted to help share, add dimensions to what people think of when they think of Armenians. You're watching with Charlie, who's in a prison cell, you're spying on somebody in an apartment building across the way and getting glimpses of like food they're eating and music they're playing. This was an attempt to entice people into wanting to know more about what Armenians are, are like, who they are. At the end of the day, this is a film about resilience. It's about family. For Michael, it's also personal. His grandfather was not a repatriate, but he was a genocide survivor. And he dedicates this movie in his memory. At the beginning of the film, there's a scene with a boy in, the bo in a box uh, escaping the genocide. That's my grandfather. Growing up, he, he taught me to smile, to embrace what's good, um, to be hopeful. And so in a way, Charlie's character is really an ode to who my grandfather was. What was his name? Manug. Despite the seriousness, heaviness, and absurdity of the plot, there are many moments filled with humor and lightheartedness. Stories are meant to be able to um, entertain us. They're meant to educate and inform. That's the power of stories. I like making films that inspire people and give them hope. That's, I would say, the, the heart of what Americazzi is. The film festival runs September 6th through the 10th. Amerikatsi is being released in New York and Los Angeles on September 8th with a national rollout to follow. And you can also check out my full interview with Michael Gorgian on our website, foxla.com. Looks like a great movie. It is. It's Are you going to really invite good. me to go watch it September 8th? Well, you can come tomorrow to the premiere. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sounds I'm, like I'm a date. hosting. It's sold out, but I might oh, hook you up. Oh, please. I know people. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you.